The Walmart case has gotten a lot of press. I think companies are breathing some sigh of relief that the Supreme Court decision means that it's not going to be as easy to have mega class action suits. But I really don't think it's as big a deal as the media suggests because the facts there were so unique. 1.5 million people, there's no specific company policy. It was all subjective in the more than 3,000 stores across the country. So if the Supreme Court had said, that's okay, we're going to still lump you together as if you were in the same situation, I think that would have been fairly surprising. The issues that should be number one and two on companies' radar screens are retaliation claims and wage and hour claims. And retaliation is a great claim for a plaintiff's lawyer because what you're saying is the employee stands up and says, hey, you told me, following up on what I just said before, to raise my hand if I saw discrimination in the workplace. And when I did, just what you asked me to do, you punched me in the face. Now the punch in the face is you docked my pay, didn't give me a bonus, fired me, put me on probation, something like that. Jurors really get that. Wait a minute, you told someone to do something, they did it, and then you punish them? So it comes with punitive damages and attorney fees, and it's really on the increase. And the, one of the reasons why it's on the increase is even if the plaintiff fails to prove discrimination, if the manager nonetheless, being a human being, retaliates could says, hey, wait a minute, you called me a bigot? You said I was a bigot because I didn't give you a good performance review, and now i got to keep working with you? So it is human instinct to not want that person to be your best friend anymore. Now, retaliation law doesn't say you have to have people over to your house for birthday parties, but in the workplace, you have to just take a big sucking breath when you go into work and treat that person who's accused you of being a bigot exactly the same way as you treat everybody else. And that sometimes seems like a superhuman task. So those retaliation claims are big, they're dangerous, they're expensive, and jurors love them. The, the biggest issue that is not on the radar screen of most companies but should be is what to do with social media. Social media is expanding monthly. I'm starting to do social media training and last month it was 500 million people on Facebook. That figure's done now. I think it's like 650 million people. What does that have to do with companies? Well, what your employees do on Facebook, Twitter, blogs, um, in, the, in the world of financial securities, the Bloombergs go back and forth. All that comes in. If, they're if there's a discrimination case. And a lot of companies saying, ah, social media, you know, the companies are run by older people, and they think, well, what is that that has nothing to do with us? Because they don't do it. Most people over the age of 50 wouldn't have known what Twitter was two months ago. And now, because of Congressman Weiner, unless you haven't been reading any paper or ever listening to any TV or radio station, everybody knows what a Twitter can do to one's career. I should say what the actions behind the Twitter could do. It wasn't, it wasn't the Twitter's fault. Um, but it's really wise for companies to get ahead of that because there used to be a high wall where you would say to your employees, look, what you do in your spare time is your business. It's got nothing to do with us. Just don't do it here. But that wall's come down because if an employee goes home and on their Facebook says, I work at um, you know X company and uh, we just got done having... Uh, strippers that were paid for by the company and by the way I belong to the following you know we hate women organizations now we see that things aren't going as well for women in the workplace as they are for men and what what's coming in hey look who the boss is the boss thinks the way to entertain is to go to strip clubs and belongs to all these organizations that think women should be barefoot pregnant and back in the kitchen that's totally coming in so you, the way to navigate saying to your employees, I'm not going to look at what you do 24-7 yet, just because you're home on your computer in your pajamas, don't think anything and everything you say can't get us, the company, in trouble and therefore you, the employee, in lots of trouble because you'd be dead wrong. So navigating that is something that companies need to do and most companies still don't have social media policies. And just like what I said before about Walmart, you want to have that bright line policy you want to have that bright line social media policy. So if someone says something inane on their blog, identifying themselves as being with your company, you can say, that person, what that person said is horrible and it's not on us.